Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Earlier today, there was a magnitude 4.2 earthquake again off of Petrolia, California. 124 people reported feeling this earthquake. It looks like most of the energy was transferred going northeast. Here's an image using Google Earth, the location of that earthquake. It was in the Gorda Plate. Um, these channels here and their um, sediment flows are caused by past major earthquakes all along the coast here. We got Eel Canyon, Bear Valley Canyon, etc. This earthquake will not have an effect on the San Andreas Fault, though they think that earthquakes along the San Andreas Fault do affect the earthquakes and the probability of an earthquake to the Cascadia Fault Zone. This is not far from the 1992 Cape Mendocino earthquakes. According to a paper published by Oregon State Education, um, earthquakes in this area can and have occurred um, in the sequences of 133 years, 75 years, and 34 years, respectively. There were several earthquakes in that area in 1992, April 25th and the 26th. The three largest events was a magnitude 7.2 and two large aftershocks of a 6.5 and a 6.6. Instead of subsidence, there was three to five feet of uplift, and there was tidal poles that were uplifted and then care, uh, killed off um, mussels and other types of life that was living in the sea pools. They know that large earthquakes have a very great chance of happening after a series of what they call quiet earthquakes. On the northern and southern ends of the Cascadia Fault Zone, is um, blocks of basalt that they think act as insulators to allow slow creep of these earthquakes, the quiet earthquakes. These quiet earthquakes usually last for about four weeks in the uh, Washington area. Um, they come about every 14 months, where down here in Oregon, California, they occur every 19, 19 months. So if you look at what was posted on PNSN for the 17th, there was 247 earthquakes in this location prior to this magnitude 4.2. And then yesterday, they're always posting a day behind up here in the Vancouver, Washington area. There was 133 earthquakes, whereas down here by California, Oregon border, you can see that the earthquakes diminished. Here at the top, you can see the count numbers. And if I go back, here's the 17th, and we'll go back to the uh, 16th. See how the height of these uh, quiet earthquakes, let me refresh this, um, was on the 17th, and the following two days later is when we had the uh, 4.2. So that would be something that maybe if you want to do your own predicting for earthquakes to keep an eye on for what these quiet earthquakes are doing. Yesterday, there was a 5.5 off the coast um, of Ferndale, California, also in the uh, Gordo Plate Zone, and also a 4.7. They also know that the Cascadia Subduction Zone is capable of having um, a nine point or greater earthquake. They're hoping that the next one that occurs will be a nine point or less. But there is a possibility that the next earthquake for the Cascadia subduction zone will be a nine point, point or greater. The earthquake that occurred in the 1700s, that according to Native American folklore, occurred at night. They believe that the next earthquake for the Cascadia um, subduction zone would be a rupture for the entire um, zone. They do have some areas that are locked. The boundary is locked, so um, the uh, energy, the pressure has been building. Um, uplift of about an inch and a half a year. That's a lot of pressure, inch and a half a year. These locked zones, they're not having any earthquakes, and when they do rupture, it will be a massive earthquake. The earthquake would last anywhere from two to three minutes. 
and there would probably be aftershocks of at least magnitude 7 or greater. There's been a lot of studying going on, but they've only recently started monitoring um, these earthquakes more intensely in the last 30 years by putting up more seismic stations. The Pacific, the northern Pacific coast would drop where down here in the south, this area, uh, parts of Oregon and California, northern California, would rise up. Tsunamis would be high as 30 to 40 feet. If it was a magnitude 8 earthquake, um, that it would be about half that size. So what's going to happen next? Good question. We can see that the earthquakes, these quiet earthquakes down south here, are lessening. Whereas up there in uh, Washington, Victoria area, um, they are growing. We just have to keep an eye on this and see what happens. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.